Okay, here we are back in Always Sometimes Monsters, and we just paid a visit to City Hall and adjusted the election machines. So, let's go have a look-see at how things played out. Before I actually go in here, one thing that I need to talk about is there is an additional storyline here that I didn't do. There's a transsexual character inside of the City Hall, and while you're in Beaten, you can trigger the events a few different ways. I've only heard about this, I haven't actually done any of the steps myself, but if you want to try it, you at least know it exists to try to search for it now. But anyway, result time. This is why going forward we will no longer be accepting opaque trash bags for garbage pickups. To ease the transition, the city will be providing three free bags to each residence at no cost. Additional bags may be purchased for a nominal fee city approved retailer including the forthcoming Macrosatch Super Center. Hopefully this new program will help prevent any further tragedies. Oh, and it looks like that's the last of our announcements. Now it's time for what we're all here for, the results of our mayoral election. It seems that we're missing a few of our candidates still, but let's not let that slow us down. The balance have been carefully counted by our electronic voting system, and it's time to see who's won. Stacy, the envelope, please. Thank you. It's been a long political season, but here we are at the moment of truth. As selected by the people, the mayor of Bean is... Trudeau Liberté. Congratulations, would you care to say anything? I've got something to say. It's never like protocol, Mr. Ward. You gonna stop me? That's what I thought. What's wrong with you people? After everything I've done for the city, after cleaning up these streets, you voted in this lunatic? Well, let me tell you some of the ungrateful sods. If you can't appreciate all the good I've been doing and trying to do for you, I'm happy to take my expertise elsewhere. Effective immediately, you're looking at the new strategic management director for the Magnashaft Corporation's beaten offices. Reporters, I'll be here for the next few hours to answer your questions. And he's gonna get walled off once again. Right, well then, let's extend a big congratulations to Trudeau Liberté, our new mayor. Despite what that old despot horde may have told you, I assure you we are entering a new and prosperous age. This election beaten was asked what it wanted going forward, and you answered change. As you can see, Horde has always put corporate interests first, and I assure you none of that will affect my office. I can say with full confidence that the changes you have longed for are indeed on their way. Thank you for those who turned out to vote. Your support has been truly appreciated, all three of you. Reporters, if you have any questions, I'll be available for the next few hours for you. As you can see from the differences in the playthroughs, it actually doesn't matter here. Whichever one wins becomes mayor, whichever one doesn't just becomes the corporate whatever. And just goes to show you how worthless the whole political system is. Well, that about wraps up today's events. Thanks for coming out, everyone. And we can move around now. My hat's lined with tinfoil to block out their brain control rays. Sublime. Hey, Angus, check it out. It's our old pal, Heroin. Oh, hey, Heroin. Can't you look at Red over there? Man, does he look really beat. Car full of stank smell and Trudeau's won the election. Top it all off, his legs all busted like that, I almost feel bad for him. At least he ain't dead like we thought, though. What a relief. Hey, good job on the whole hacking thing, by the way. I don't know how you pulled it off, but the look on Horde's face when they announced the results was priceless. Best part is, nobody's caught wise to our plan. Right, well, let's not talk too much about it while we're still at the scene of the crime. Top secret agent style, got it. Hey, so now that Baus is going to be dissolving, what are you going to do next? I doubt Red will be eager to hire you back at the warehouse. Oh well, I'm supposed to be in San Bernardino in 17 days. So, are you skipping town right away, or you think you'll be here a while? No, oh, I haven't thought about it that much. I should probably leave soon, though. Time's ticking and all. Right on, gotta keep moving. Before you go, though, I guess I wanted to give you a little gift for all your help. Yeah, I hope you like it. It's not much, but hopefully you'll find some use for it in your travels. She 
give us some more clubs. You know, she didn't have any, and figured you'd ought to. You know, in case you wind up in another bullshit warehouse job or something. That's really thoughtful. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate this. Hey, don't get sappy on me now. Just take care of it for us, won't you? Yeah, of course. Thanks for the help with everything. You're pretty cool. Sublime. Let's go check on our buddy, Red. Hey, Red, you okay? You've got a lot of nerve coming and talking to me, you know that? Do you have no remorse for your actions? Red, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Yes, I did. Shut up, you idiot. What kind of person just ups and leaves a job in the middle of it? Thanks to you cutting out early, I had to crawl myself across the warehouse to get to the phone. Do you have any idea how painful that is with a fractured spine? I really hope whatever you ditched us for was important, you selfish fuck. I never should have listened to that idiot and hired you. I never did meet a woman capable of an honest day's manual labor. Red, I understand that you're angry, but there's no need for that. I'm sorry, did I touch a nerve? Go fuck yourself. I'm the one who needs help going to the bathroom now. Before me, the uni had, see if I care. Heh, <laughs> you don't think it's just because uh, pretty boy over there wasn't going to change things, do you? We're not going to push over that easy, no way. We run the city and all you punks have got another thing coming if you think this is the end of it. Unless you're volunteering to clear out, clean out my bedpan, I really don't want to hear from you. Okay, he seems a little angry. Excuse me, citizen, please hold on a second. I need to speak with you a moment. Please don't leave. Shit, can he be on to me? Shit, what did I do? We're going to stay. Thank you for waiting. I have a few words to say. The new mayor told me that you assisted him in his recent campaign. Said that you were absolutely instrumental in his success. That's putting it mildly. At first, I couldn't figure out what he... he exactly what he meant, but it's all become so clear to me now. I mean, how else do you explain such a landslide victory against the odds? Am I in trouble? Trouble? What for? I just wanted to applaud you on the magnificent poster designs. Surely, that's what he meant, right? He also wanted me to give you this as a token of his appreciation. We received the expense card. These are issued mostly to City Hall employees, but a few... but a few to exceptional citizens like yourself. I can barely read today. You can use it at any normal ATM to access your credit, but unfortunately it does have a limit. We can't just spend all the city's tax dollars willy-nilly now, can we? Well, if you're like the ordinary government, yes you can. Wow, thanks! Alright, put it to good use, and once again, thank you for your efforts. We genuinely appreciate the work you've done. Take care! strikes over, I should probably go check the bus schedule. I should probably get on the first bus to Salt City, I can. So, let's head over to the Bacon Barn. It's somewhere around here. Oh yeah, let's go see if Fisher Kid is sleeping with the fish yet. Nope. So maybe he's fine if you don't talk to him. Pretty good policy for dealing with the Dark Hero. so illegal, you figure you would've gotten paid more, but oh well. I'm gonna 
consolidate everything for my convenience. Actually, let me just make sure that was 100, right? So I do have to sell some of my bacon future things if I want to buy the bus fare. Salt City, that's 711. So I'm at almost 400. We are going to sell. to the bot. And I'm just gonna speed through this. And now it's nighttime. Come on. Need to 
get out of this hellhole and go to the next one. Before the cops catch on to me. Oops. Okay, Salt City, here we come. Let's blow this pop stand. On our bus without moving tires. Okay, dawn of the 14th day. This is where we're going to wrap things up. Assuming I don't get too much talking. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to Jubilee Trailer Park? I think that's the place. You're looking for old Arkansas, right? Heroin, isn't it? Yeah. How do you know that exactly? He's a stalker. It's a small town. Everyone here knows Mark pretty well. Tell me to keep an eye out for you in case you stop by and tell you where to go. This place is just on the other side of the overpass. You should find it. No problem. Alright then, thanks. Okay, and that's where we're stopping. Thanks for now. Um, I am going to go to the strip club this time around, but that's going to be off camera since there are topless sprites there. I don't know how YouTube will react to that, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Anyway, I'm the Dark Hero. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.